Hi traders, Nico here with Seven Points Capital with today's trader takeaways. Uh, here, let's start with the chart of the SPY. We got the daily chart. Uh, looks like we gapped down pretty good today. Making some fresh lows, fresh recent lows here. Breaking support um, from March, looks like. And didn't hold and we're, we're back down here. So not sure what's going on there. Let's check the intraday chart. Um, so something happened in after hours. I'm sorry, but I'm not following the macro news. I don't know, not savvy what happened for to cause the gap, but maybe it had to do with tariffs. I'm just guessing. I do not know and do not claim to know. But in the micro caps, um, they've been quite fun uh, recently. The context is, um, you know, a lot of these micro caps have been running and longs have been doing really well with them. Shorts have been getting squeezed. So, you know, I'm looking to be, came into today, looking to be really cautious and, you know, it's okay to be on the front of it. I don't want to be full size. Uh, I want to be like this lion over here and I want to hunt. I want to be patient and I want price to show me when I want to be in there, when I want to be full size. And before that moment is true, I don't want to be big. So that was my, my goal coming into today. Um, S spot moved in after hours yesterday. Uh, so I was looking at the catalysts, uh, looking at the share structure, looking to understand, um, the filings, refresh myself on S spot. S spot's been a name for over the years, um, and, and make a plan for it this morning. So I was very happy to see that in pre-market, it got bought back up. We got some volume coming into it and 1.6s, 1.7s, 1.8s, 1.9s in twos, you know, uh, in pre-market, that's outstanding. So I was really excited to see the strength. Uh, the context was, my plan was, I figured they were gonna try and sell into strength. And um, so I wanted to be there for that, but until the moment was right, I did not wanna be big because um, I didn't wanna get in trouble. I didn't wanna get stuck. And using hard stops is really good to not get stuck. So I've been, but the, the, the other advantage to using hard stops is, man, do I buy the tops a lot now? So, um, which is cool. I'm fine with that. Um, so here I'm looking, uh, we got some morning strength and some really big volume. I think in the first five minutes alone, we traded over 5 million shares on this thing and, uh, really big gap. So I'm, I'm looking to see what's going on now. Once it finally picked range, I started in and again, I'm small on the front. So I'm small on all this stuff right now. Um, and I, I started adding and I'm, I'm maybe, uh, you know, a third of the size or something. And I, I covered some on the dips and then we, uh, pushed all the way up and I stopped out up here because I wasn't sure because I, I had to protect myself and I was small and I was just like, dude, I got to step out, step out of the way. You know, this thing looks like it's, and of course it ended up being covering the top, which is pretty awesome. But when we slam right back down and we got the, um, the top wick formed here, or for me, and we went right back into the range. Well, uh, I, I definitely was like, well, I just want to put that trade back on. So I put all those covers back on, covered some down here. We ramped back up, you know, uh, I think, I'm, yeah, I'm flat. I'm flat down here and we ramped back up and it's, there's something going on in these 2.4s, but I got to let, I got to respect it because it might, we might launch 2.5s from here. I mean, I don't, I don't know. So when I'm watching volume come into it, I'm watching uh, the action. We're very emotional in these first few minutes of uh, of, of the morning. So I got I to gotta respect the potentials, the possibilities here. And um, But when we failed the 2.4s again, that's when I put all that size right back on because we're right back into the range. We failed the 2.4s again, the mid 2.4s, 2.5, um, and, and we slammed back down and, and I got in there. Uh, as fast as I could. And I ended up covering, uh, the, the bottom here. I think I can't remember whether I sold that before or after I covered. Um, but this is a little messy here. This is me, um, you know, stopping out, putting more back on, stopping out above the range and, and, and playing with, with smaller size, trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, you know, on the last one, this is me stopping out right here because you know, are we going to reclaim the 2.4s and then we shove now this last two point, this is like the last hurrah I'm thinking maybe, 
And when this when this starts to form a wick and we slam back, we get slammed right back into the range. I'm, I'm putting I'm putting my 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 shares back on. I want to get I want to get short again because that's a nice failure. And I want to be there in case, you know, the momentum shifting here, because that's definitely an earmark, definitely a sign of a potential shift in momentum. And, and that's exactly what we got. And I covered the dip here, more noise here, um, kind of some chop, you know, just fi trying to figure it out. Um, but again, I'm not full size on, on any of this yet. It, it wasn't until this setup where I am getting short and then I stop out here because we get some volume coming in and we start standing up on VWAP. It's getting later in the day. It's getting late morning. And I don't want to mess with this thing if it's going to reclaim. I want to respect it and I want to protect myself. So I stopped out here um, and then it ended up wicking after the fact. That's fine with me. You know, I, I stop out of the top all the time now and I don't even care. I used to care about it, but um, that was back when I had loose risk and, you know, I was more interested in, in being right than, than uh, being smart. So, but, you know, as soon as it fails, then that's, you know, if SSR is not on, so I'm, I'm like, well, now, uh, this setup right here was great. This, this was the, the first setup I saw, or at least that I took today where I was willing to go full size on this now. So on this failure, just after I stopped, immediately after I stopped, we, we, we come back down and we fail VWAP and we go right back into the range under VWAP here. And I'm thinking this might be, this might be the beginning of the, you know, this might be the beginning of the, you know, at least recent, so to, so to speak, intraday day uh, fade. We might get a really nice fade here is what I'm trying to say. So I go half size here and on confirmation, we slam down, we get more volume, uh, red volume, and I get, I get full size and um, I got my wrist set. I'm willing. Now I'm like, let's roll. You know, I need prices to show me right now. Am I going to be right on this? Did I have a good read on this? Or is this going to bounce right back up, which it might, and um, press right back up on, you know, get right back into the range and press right back up on VWAP and start trying to uh, push shorts, get them on their toes again. Um, but that was the first moment I was willing to take the risk. So, uh, excuse me, you know, get full size and, you know, like I, like I earned the right to be full size right there because I'm, remember, I'm trying to be this lion. So I'm trying to be picky. And, and that was, that was a good setup and I got full size. I stuck with the trade. I let it work. Um, and I covered it all the way from like two Oh five, as it looks like, uh, all the way down to the high 1.8. Great trade. Um, you know, made, made the morning, hang out with my kid, go to daycare, drop them off, come home. Um, and we start, you know, we got a train going here. We, we bought them here. looks like, you know, the lows from one of the pivots from pre-market held, and we start trending we get right back in here and we start pressing on uh this 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 pivot and we start you know higher higher lows higher highs and we start going higher and you know we start getting some volume now volume starts coming in and i, I take a stab at it up here i'm thinking we might not make it all the way to vwap this is about a third a third of full size right here so i'm not this is not a full size trade but i'm thinking you know hey i'm gonna make uh this make my day even sweeter and I'm going to let the trade work for me. I'm trailing it. I'm moving my stops down, matching pivots. So, you know, I'm looking for lower lows and lower highs. And I want to let the trade work and see how far it can go down, see how far it can fade. And um, when it looks like it wants to bounce, then then I'm going to I'm going to stop out and maybe I get faked out or maybe it was a good stop out. Um, in this case, it ended up being a good stop out. I think. Uh, sorry. How do I? Yeah. So we, we go higher, we go lower. Um, and then we get some volume coming in and, you know, my wife is in the office here and she was talking to me about some other stuff, non trading related. And I'm like, Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I start getting short here again, not full size, but I'm thinking this might roll over. And she's like, why, why do you want to buy that? You know, don't you want to, don't you, or why do you want to sell it? Don't you know, why do you want to short it? Don't you want to buy it? Don't you think it's going to go higher and maybe go up to VWAP? And I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. And I just can't buy SBOT. It's just not in my DNA. I just can't. I've known the ticker for years. Just, you know, it's like, a, you just, you're like, no, I, I can't do that. You know, every, that's fine. Everyone else wants to do it. I just can't. I just know myself and I'm not doing it. So, um, eventually she was like, all right, I'm just going to, 
leave you alone so you can do your thing. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> um, but so I stop out here. I was thinking, you know, if it, if it breaks this pivot right here, if we get back on here, price comes, then I don't want to be in it, especially if volume's coming into it, uh, which it started to. So I, I take a small loss there. This is a whole bunch of chop. I'm trying VWAP. I'm taking it off. It goes a little higher. I'm stopping out. Nothing's full size yet until we get up to here. So right here, I am sh short from here and I, I stop out here and I start getting short. We go higher. I start getting, adding, getting bigger. I start adding and getting a little bit bigger. Again, I'm only half size and I'm on edge a little bit because this candle is like, holy, you know, all this volume coming in and I stop out. Now, when we start to, you know, drift from here, we get a wick and we start drifting from here. I'm like this, this might, this might be a bull BS squeeze. You know, like, do I really think the buyers are going to step in for the rest of the day on S bot or is this just a squeeze out and a change, you know, our shares changing hands here and we're going to filter out and fade. I took the latter thought theory and wanted to try it. So I got back in here and this is me going, um, full size from, from that idea. And we drift, I want to let it work. You know, I don't want to, you know, again, stop, bring the stop down, let it fail. I want to let it work as far as I can. I want to cover near VWAP in case we bounce. We ended up doing that. We bounce, I get short, we bounce some more. I get short again and I stop out at the top. Fine, but I'm on full size. So I'm like, now I'm chewing into today's profits. It's okay, but we fail it and I get back and I'm right back in there because I'm thinking, I don't want to, I don't want to miss the fade and it's working. It's working at a stop limit entry. I sell more and, and get bigger down here, which was a mistake <laughs> near the bottom. And what do I do? I shoves and I stop out at the top because I'm full size. I got to protect myself in case this thing's going to reclaim on the day, but I'm trying, but at this point I'm noticing I keep stopping out at the tops, which tells me I just have the wrong idea, but the trade might be in there for me. I'm going to, I can, if, if I stick with it, I think I might be right in the end. And as we failed, after I stopped out here, I got right back in full size and beautiful slam back to VWAP. You know, we see the trend, the lower highs here, we get higher, but they're on wicks. It's not standing high. It's not closing higher. We're, we're just drifting lower. We get lower highs here. So uh, it was, this was the best, this was the best trade, you know, and then, and then we, we slam and I start covering, uh, you know, 208s, 210, 209s, all the way down to 190s. And, um, that was, that was a really good trade. I tried to stick with it. I had a third of it left here and I, I brought my stop down because I didn't want to give back, but I think I brought it down just a little, I just needed a little bit more play in, um, I would have caught the rest of this, but as it turns out, it just didn't work out for me, but great way to end the, uh, in the, in the month, in the, in the week and in, in the month. And, um, so yeah, that's my trading for today. I had one other trade on Tesla's video is getting kind of long. Sorry guys. Um, I'll try and wrap this up. And the reason I took this trade was because I saw the one eighty sevens here holding from yesterday. If I go to a five minute chart, um, these one eighty seven lows. I thought maybe after we gap down and there's a lot of shorts in here. So I thought maybe we could squeeze when we went green, red, uh, red, green, and then we come back down. I thought my idea was maybe these 187, these 187s will hold, um, from yesterday and they didn't. So I just took a minor, nothing there. It's like nothing trade. Um, but a lot of other runners today. I mean, just what an amazing market we're in. So thanks for checking out the video. Um, Quick update on San Diego. Uh, we've been doing phone interviews. They've been great. Um, thank you for all the applicants that have applied. Um, you know, I was on a, a call with uh, a trader. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before with uh, Mike Katz. And the trader asked me a uh, really good question. He was like, or he asked both of us a really good question. He's like, you know, what's, what's the culture look like of seven points, you know, for the San Diego office? What's the culture look like? And Mike was like, Nico, you want to answer that? And I was like, sure. <laughs> and, uh, um, I just thought I'd share the short story. So I said, uh, you know, let me just preface, preface my answer with, I've, I've never done this before. I've been a pajama trader, you know, sitting at home, um, for, you know, 12 years. 
and I've, I've you know I don't I've only visited uh, I think when I was in in New York and I visited um, seven points at the New York office you know that's the only time I've ever been around a room full of traders but um, basically you know I'm looking to create a culture of traders in the San Diego office and pick a, the right team of people that the right team of traders that are hungry and um, passionate and they're hustlers they're ready to hustle every day and they're hungry to, to go out there and get it and you know it's very important to me to pick a, a team of people that are willing to or that want to excuse me that want to be better than who they were yesterday as a trader and I think there's a there's a form of synergy involved uh, I've experienced it briefly visiting uh, Mike's office in New York but when you get the right you know group of people together and you, you pretty soon you get a synergy level of you know one plus one it doesn't equal two anymore I think it equals three or more so uh, I'm really excited to to uh, develop San Diego and see what we can do there so thanks everyone that have applied we're, we're moving along in the uh, in the process and uh, I'll wrap this up that's it for me today I'll check you guys out later and happy weekend and hope you guys had a good May thank you bye